Hello fellow simmers and welcome back to another video. I'm Samuel Beeman of BLS and I hope you enjoy this review and preview. So today we're going to be looking at the Steam Sound Supreme Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway using the Dovetail Games A4 Pacific class. So let's get into this. So this is a quick drive scenario so I'm just literally going to you know take a look down the route from Cheltenham Racecourse. Cheltenham, Ra Cheltenham Racecourse, I believe it is, yeah, down to, is it Winchcombe, I think? Uh, we'll find out as we go further down, I've actually forgotten. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. So here we are, here's Bitten, which is the Dovetail Games A4 Pacific class. I picked this up in the Steam sales for four quid, and it's probably worth, well... In all honesty, it's it's definitely not worth eighteen pounds, because uh, the sounds are somewhat to be desired. But anyway, so here's number four four six four. As you can see, the model, the actual model, does look stunning. So DTG have done a fantastic job in the means of modelling, mind you. The nameplate does look a bit, well, low textured. And actually, to be honest with you, these textures are not actually 100% um, crisp. They look a bit spec, speckly. Yeah, it doesn't look very... Okay, yeah, so the reskin isn't great. Okay, so if you zoom in, you know, obviously textures are not quite high definition in some areas. Uh, numbering's quite nice. We've got the Doncaster plate down there got all of the appropriate bogey detail on the tender along with the steps and the corridor we have the speedometer on the side there and all the rivets along the cladding appropriate hoses on the front end as well as the coupling hook a chime whistle, let's give that a test. So this is the A4, famous A4 chime whistle. So as you can hear, it's not great, is it, guys? Let's face it. It's not... It's just a bit fadey out -y, fade in, fade out, a bit shite. Still yet to get the SSS sound pack on this. I will get it eventually. But yeah, so anyway, let's look in the cab. So yeah, I mean, the cab's okay. It's a bit cartoony in areas, but we can live with it. Do we have opening and closing windows? We do. And do they actually open on the outside? They do, which is great to see. So that's good then. So we will put ourselves into forward gear so we can prepare ourselves for departure. Any of these stuff open? No, uh, quite limited playability as to be expected on DTG products. Although, mind you, the tender doors open and close, which is good to see. It's a nice extra feature added. And we've also got this uh, opens and closes, whatever this is. Firehole doors, who knows. But that's quite nice to see. Uh, do both windows open and close? Nope, it's literally just that one. And of course that one on the other side. Oh, hang on. Did I just see? Okay, that's cool, the barrier goes over. I like that. It's quite a nice touch. Does the sunroof, yep, we got the roof. That opens and closes, that's good to see. Just to add a little bit of light in here. Injectors. Okay guys, let's make our way further down the line so we shall release our brake.
chuffs are okay, I guess. So detail on the route. I mean, there's not much detail here. I don't, have I got anything missing? I don't know. I doubt it. As far as I know, I've got everything needed for the Gloss Walks. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got custom signage going on here at Cheltenham Racecourse. Got some nice detail in the means of scenery going up. So we've got a nice footpath, footpath here. Which sort of links up the station, which is cool. Station building is a recycled Bath and Temple Coom station building, but it looks good. It's it's okay. We've got some like signage going around it, which kind of brings it out a little bit more, and as well as other bits and pieces. We've also got a hideous QG clatter on the coaches, which is rather horrible. So I am over speeding at the minute. I should be going ten mile an hour, but there you go. Oh, we've got point rod in. That's great to see, isn't it? I like that. Okay, we've got some point rod in. That's great. Nice little touch there. We've got a custom signal box as well as custom fire buckets. These models aren't exactly the best in the world. They look a bit, well, very cartoony, but at least they're there. Oh, I think we had a bell sound there, which is nice to see. Or nice to hear, even. Yeah. Track is that's okay. I mean, we got some three D texturing, especially on the um, got some three D stuff, especially on the ball heads, but the chairs of the tracks. Uh, ground textures, yeah. You can definitely see there's a lot of bath textures here. The sounds on these on this A4 is awful, as you can hear. It is absolutely awful. The chuffs. Yeah, just no, this this sounds awful. Doesn't exactly drive very nicely either. And I'm really not that keen on this. Sounds awful. There you go. The means of scenics on the route, the scenery looks nice. We've got a lot of distant scenery which is great to see and it's all like 2D as well there's not too many overuse of 3D stuff which is all good but yeah look at this wow that's really that's really good actually well done steam sound supreme that's not bad in the means of distant scenery I really like in the overall look of this and the frame rates are really quite nice on this route as well it runs nicely This thing sounds awful though, the DTG cl Class A4 Pacific sounds crap. So guys, if you're going to get this DLC, number one, for starters, get it in the sale because it's 100% not worth 18 quid whatsoever. Uh, the model is okay, it looks quite nice, but the reskin is somewhat to be desired as you can see. The skins are a bit, well, they're not exactly 100% high definition visuals. And yeah, it's just... I, this was not on my list of things to get to be honest. The only reason I got the A4 was because I needed this A4 purely for a Flying Scotsman skin of the uh, 2020 Flying Scotsman skin which was made by um, that gaming college group, I can't remember their name. Uh, I can't remember the name guys, but I'll link their page and website in the description of the video so you'll be able to check out the Flying Scotsman reskin. But that's the reason why I got the A4s because I needed the corridor tender for that, so it's a requirement, it's a separate requirement. Why it's a separate requirement I do not know because obviously the Flying Scotsman pack does come with a corridor tender, maybe just because of the fact that it's a better model. but. The fact is though, it's just adding an extra unnecessary piece of DLC which is really quite annoying. But, at least the sale was on so I could get this piece of crap cheap basically. So yeah, I'm more looking forward to the Caledonian Works A4 that's coming out. This one is shite. Um, the model looks nice, yeah, but the sounds let it down big style. I'm glad SSS have done a sound pack on it, so I'll do another video over the sound pack at one point, just so we can test out the new sounds. 
but as I say, it's it's not great really. Um, I'm not that impressed. We ain't even got changeable lamps. It's very basic. Um, I am over speeding here, so I'm not really like you know. I'm I'm not really fussed about keeping to speed limits on this because I'm literally just doing a preview and review of this route and the locomotive. So yeah. But detail wise on the actual scenery front does look really quite nice. I mean there is a lot of um I can tell there's a lot of Isle of Wight assets and there's a lot of uh obviously Kiju assets here and there but it's not bad um the ground textures could use with an improvement and the track may be a change possibly but well, it doesn't look too bad i guess uh, but the scenery look at this absolutely stunning okay well done whoever's made this route cracking job on the background and distant scenery look at that guys that is beautiful okay that is beautiful i i, I can't knock that that is some good scenic work on the distant scenery there. Fantastic. And you can see it all look. It really does look something else. Okay, I'm impressed with that. Can we do anything with these? There. Oh, hang on. I just see something click up. No, obviously not. So we've got. Oh, okay. So they're the only two views. So you can't even go over to this side on the on the fireman side. That sucks, doesn't it? So there's only two views. One in the driver's seat and one in the centre. There's not much in the means of scenery trackside, just sort of, you know, we've got this sort of high up section which is grass and a ballast texture and that's pretty much it. The sort of scenery sort of comes in here, doesn't it? Look. But in the means of, yeah, it's just, there's not much scenery here. But in all honesty, that helps with the frame rates. So I would say this route's frame rate friendly. It's not that bad. And it does look stunning. The dis distant scenery just looks fantastic. It's kind of Gotherington now. I've never been to the Gloucestershire and Workshire Railway. It's a railway that I have yet to visit. It's one on my list for definite. So. Obviously I don't know 100% all of the places on this route, um, I've only seen like videos and photos of the actual real railway, but at the moment it's looking pretty good and they're pretty accurate. I was speeding, we need to 10 mile an hour. Okay, we've got a danger signal up ahead. What's that about then? Okay, so I need to beware here. So we've got a red signal here, I wonder what that's about. We've got an AI train coming up or something? What's going on here then?
Toddington. Right, so there's a random set there. Toddington. And we are there. So I'm, I'm not even going all the way down to Toddington, that sucks. Oh, I'm not doing the full route. Okay, so we'll look at the Toddington bit after I've done this section here, so. Oh, we've got the green now. Some nicely detailed track here actually look at this we've got some 3d sleepers and 3d track here which looks really cool actually I quite like this and then you come to the actual track and it's this yeah, I mean no, I actually prefer that track look at that <laughs> obviously that's a rusted one so you'd want a clean one for the actual line but Oh, this is, I mean, this is good detail around here. Look at Govering Goods. You've got the crane and everything. The British Rail van. Sheds and huts. Should we stop at Goverington? Yeah, let's stop at Goverington. Let's the passengers aboard. Oh, so you can't, you can't open the doors at this platform. Okay, fair enough. So this is Goverington. I believe this is a request stop only. So uh, you wouldn't actually, you know, usually, well, it's only a request stop, but this is like a really nice station in reality. I've seen like pictures and images and what this looks like and it looks great. Uh, he's kind of captured it quite well, actually, uh, using the Bath um, buildings. It's not too bad. So, yeah, that's quite good. I quite like it. And, yeah, it's... It's nice, isn't it? It's good. Oh, look at this. See, look at this scenery out in the distance. Wow. Good job. Yes. Right. Onwards. Hideous QG clatter. Oh, this bridge looks quite nice, doesn't it? Look at this. Oh, I'm loving the use of the fact there's no track there and like you've got like a sort of an empty section. I like that quite a lot. Cool, yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Wow. Awesome. Great to see. Right, I'm going to check my Facebook because I think I just got a notification through, so I must check that. Oh, just stuff. Right, anyway. Oh, Christ. Nearly hit the bridge there. Look at that. Wow. Not much scenery here in this cutting, but it does look quite nice, doesn't it? I mean, this is certainly a detailed route, but 
It's a detailed route, but it's actually quite weird. I don't know what to call it. It's a detailed route, but like not detailed. Does that make sense? So it's like, well, it's areas like closer to the track are not, but it helps with the frames. So it runs really nicely. The route as a whole, look, see, I don't get much frame rate stutter, which is great, especially when loading tiles. So this route is actually really handy and it will be enjoyable for most people because you will be able to run it on lower spec PCs as well as higher spec ones, which is great to see. We've also got some really nice detail and nice touches like these cameos of animals here, like we've got the cows and we've got some sheep over there. And as I say, look at this. I mean, the detail and is, is absolutely stunning in the means of distant scenery. And we've got all the pylons and things as well. I am actually really impressed with this. I'm really impressed with this. I've loved this route already. Um, I might have to get the scenario pack for it, but so obviously I don't actually have all the stuff that's required because SSS tend to like literally just make their scenarios chock-a-block full of crap, which be honest is a bit of a pain it's the same with armstrong powerhouse as well you just with their scenarios you just require too much shit and that is you know something that really does let it down in that sense of well regarding sss and ap scenarios as for the dovetail games a4 as i say there's nothing really much more to say about it to be honest um I'm just not that keen. I don't. I don't really like it very much. I just think it's uh, it's average, and it's definitely not worth eighteen pounds. It doesn't look particularly great texture-wise, and it certainly doesn't drive that great. And it certainly sounds pants. And yeah, it's, it's just a bit of a letdown, guys. So if you are going to get the A4, or you're interested in the A4 Pacific class. Do yourself a favour, either get the, J, the JT one, Just Trains, because even though they don't look particularly pretty to look at, and they're, obviously you can tell they're outdated now as they were built for Railworks 2 days, so they're around about 2008 models, 2009 models, so they are literally about nearly, well, about 15 years old now, pretty much. So they are very old, but they sound not too bad actually the sounds are not that bad the whistle certainly sounds good i love the whistle on them uh, but as i say modeling wise not as good as nowadays standards but it's still i prefer them and find them a lot more entertaining to drive and more fun than this dtg garbage but Hopefully, when I get the SSS sounds for the A4s by Dovetail Games, it might have been slightly improved. But as I say, I'm looking forward to the Caledonian Works ones because I have a feeling that they're going to be the bollocks. And they're going to be the ones to buy. They're going to be the nuts because he's going to be adding every single one of the members of the class. So it's not just going to be the same old preserved ones that we've had for donkey's years in Train Simulator, just recycled and reused. We are actually going to get every single member of the class including the steam era ones which is great to see because as well with the a4 packs i'm getting kind of fed up of just having the preserved a4s i want to have all of the members of the class so to have caledonian works do that that's great and it's going to be great So as I say, at the moment we're just going as far as Winchcombe, so I might just load up Toddington briefly in a quick drive after I've finished this. Um, yeah, just to take a look at Toddington really. But route wise, I mean, I'm impressed. It's not bad. I mean, it's obviously, you know, it's quite basic along the side of the track bed, but it doesn't really bother me too much because the distance scenery is stunning and yeah, it's good job to the the author of the route look, we've got some more animals here look it really does have a really nice feel to the route like it feels alive it looks nice it feels alive and that's what you want in a route and I'm pretty sure it's an accurate representation of the gloss walks 
which is great. As, and as I've said in previous videos, I think it's important to capture the feel of a railway and that's the most important thing when you're developing and creating a particular location and real life place. You wanna be making it so that, you know, it is, it looks and feels like that particular place that you're modeling. So we've got a long tunnel here. I think this is a really long tunnel if I remember quickly. There is that hideous whistle going off again. Okay, so you can't see crap in the cab now. Uh, I don't think there's a light in here, is there? L, I, no. This is a light inside an A4 cab, usually. Oh, no. This is a really long tunnel, isn't it? I don't know how long this tunnel is, I can't remember the length of it, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the longest tunnels in preservation, as far as I know. Marlin, it is a temple now. Ah, yes, because we're coming into Winchcombe. Winchcombe! Yes. We are head, head, approaching Winchcombe. Oh yes, Winchcombe's looking nice. Yeah, I'm well impressed with this. I like this. Great work on this. Wow. And I've seen Winchcombe in photos and videos and yeah, it's not bad considering he's used the AP station pack. He has captured the look of Winchcombe and he's done it well here. Even though it's quite default and Kiju-ish. I mean, the, the route, there's not many stuff in the means of custom assets, but he has used the assets to an advantage. He has used assets and made it look like the route. It's made it look like it's a representation of the real area. It's a representation of the stations. They're not 3D custom models, but they represent the stations and they represent them well. And he's got a good use of assets here. And he's representing Winchcombe here pretty damn well. I'm impressed. Good job, man. Uh, yeah, it's it's got some really nice detail. Like, seriously, there's a lot of things to look at. And that's what I like in Roots. It's the little things that really bring a root out. So that's all great to see and yeah wicked job guys fantastic work steam sounds supreme okay so we're going to quickly look at um toddington before we depart and end our video so we're going to load up a quick drive again and this time take a look at toddington uh yeah we want to race course yeah, it's just shoved bitten in there again. Uh, but yeah, so what do I think of the route? Well, I'm impressed. I like it. It's a good. It's a, it seems quite a nice drive. Uh, I would be interested to see more scenarios. So, like I say, because I, I, because at the moment I've just got quick drives and free roams. So it would be nice to get some scenarios working for the route. So I'll check out and see if I can find any. If anyone knows where I can get some scenarios for the route, then please let me know in the comments section and I'll give them a try and maybe do a video on them. Uh, yeah, Dovetail Games A4, uh, pretty much it's a piece of shit. Uh, there's nothing really decent about it. It's very basic. The model is nice. I'd say the model is probably the best part. 
is the overall look of the model. It's quite nicely done. Uh, but the HD, it's not it's not HD texturing at all. It's quite speckly in areas. It doesn't look it just looks a bit bleh, you know, it don't look great and it's just the sounds are awful and yeah it's just it's not worth 18 pounds get it in the sales if you're going to get it or get the just trains one or do what i'm doing and pretty much waiting for the caledonian works one to come out and be released because that is going to be the bollocks out of all of them anyway um so there you go i'm looking forward to it it will be out not in the not too far distant future, I imagine, because it's um, it's been in production for quite some time. I've been looking at some of the images. The actual model itself looks pretty much done, so I'm guessing that he'll just have to do all the members of the class and all the skins and, you know, everything that's coming with it. So our game is now loaded up. So at the moment, it's just, it's just gone by realistic driving mode, so have we... It's chosen realistic driving mode this time that's interesting so toddington yay look at this well done man okay so we've got the nice water tower represented here this is prototypical to the real life toddington and yeah it's not bad it's not bad i'm liking this it's as it's, as I say, he hasn't he hasn't done custom assets, but he has used the assets within the game, stuff like the Kiju stuff and the AP stations to an advantage, and he's done it well. And he's limited the amount of requirements required for the route, so it's good that basically it's a route that people can quite easily get and not need so many requirements for the route, which is good. But, I mean, maybe in the future or so, somebody can make custom buildings for this line. I mean, it's not it's not like it's not doable. Somebody could make custom buildings, and it would be nice to have those in. And, you know, there could be a bit of a future for this route, because it does have potential. I mean, look at this detail. There's lots of different bits in here, different fences, different gates. We've got the boilers and stuff like that just lying about. We've got um, we've got some more of this nice track here, which looks really cool, doesn't it? This is the SSS track, I believe. Yeah, it's quite a lot of nice bits of track ground here. Uh, as I say, you know, it would have been nice to have this on the actual line, this style of track, uh, because on the actual line we've just got that, and it's not as good as that, as you can see. You can quite clearly see a big difference between the two. Um, but I mean somebody could probably track swap this and then have it as something like this um, but a clean version or something probably doable got a man there just sitting about it's a 2d man but it's there and it looks quite cool got a custom toddington signal box not bad so we have got a few custom buildings about but it's not necessarily all of them so the station buildings and sheds and things aren't necessarily custom and they're just reused to kid you and other dlc assets but yeah, it's it's not too bad. We even got the narrow gauge here, look, which is great to see. So we can use the two foot gauge narrow gauge, which is great here. Look, it's all pretty nicely well represented. Which we saw this in sort of Portline Parker's version in trains. Uh, but again, you know, I I do think uh, Portline Parker's done a better job. Um, <laughs> it's just one of them things because he's he's a talented geezer. Um, but in all honesty, the Railworks one, as I'm seeing here, isn't bad at all. I'm loving it. It's looking really nice. Um, yeah, all the narrow gauge is present. It's quite a long run as well, which is great. So you can get a nice, good length of lengthy run with your narrow gauge locos on here, which is great to see. So yeah, so I'm, I mean, I might even start. I might even make a scenario pack for this on for the BLS website. We'll, we'll see. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and also let me know if there is any scenarios for this route that I can test out and give it a go. We've even got the park here, look. Oh, yes, look. I'm liking some of these. So this is some custom assets here def for definite. So I'm liking the uh, the swings and, and bits and pieces here. It's nice to see. Yeah, not bad. We've got the toilet block here. Coaches. 
really nice detail in these gardens here. I'm liking the use of flowers and the benches and things. Wow. He's really gone to town with some of the little details here and it's the little things that really do bring about bring bring about a route. Um Okay, so I believe this is going to end off my video now because it, we've got to about the half hour mark. So thanks for watching guys. Do comment, like and subscribe if you like this video. And yeah, let me know in the comments if there's any like, you know, scenarios that I need to be aware of that I can use on this route. Or if you have any scenarios you want to send us, please do email trainsimsounds at gmail.com and we'll take a look at them. And obviously let me know what the requirements are, obviously. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching guys. This has been Samuel Beeman of BLS on the Steam Sound Supreme Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway with the Dovetail Games A4 Pacific class. I'll see you guys in the next video.